Well hello guys, my name is Nick and today we're doing a build off against Matchbox Mark. We both decided to do Italian cars, link to his video and his channel will be in the description down below. So I decided to do the Ferrari Berlinetta Matchbox number 75 and as you can see it's a gem, it's beautiful, it's rolling itself into flame, giving myself a thumbs up. We're enjoying ourselves. So as you can see it got a million different colors. So let's count one, two, three, four, million. Million different colors. It's amazing. This car is a work of art and I'm going to, well, unwork of art it and make it a car again. So as you can see the wheels, it's got massive camber. So this, it, it is a boy, a teenage boy tuner car. But the rears are just normal. So not really. As you can see, the interior is really disgusting, and you can actually see the interior because, well, the glass is missing. Shocker. And somebody painted the, the rear trunk thingy of the car silver. It, it's horrible. It's, it's literally horrible. So let's get to drilling out the rivets. One in the front and one in the back. Take my handy dandy screwdriver and just pry open the base without snapping it in half. I, I Believe me, it's, it's, it, it, it happens. I obviously won't show it, but it happens. So next, let's take out the interior without snapping it because, uh, well, it was uh, stuck. Uh, it was in the post, kind of thingy. And as you can, well, you cannot really hear it, but in real life, you could hear actually the paint snapping off. You can see it right there, the paint snapping over the interior. Quality paint shop right there. So first order of business, remove the million layers of paint of the scars and have a hunch it's going to take more than one layer of paint stripper. No, I was wrong, I forgot. Before I paint stripped the scar, I actually drilled out the post a little bit further just so I can get in the screw at the end. So first layer of paint stripping goes on. It's a slippery model, as you can see I dropped it once. To you twice, there we go. I dropped it two times, it was horrible. First, you can see it's only taking off the blue layer, revealing the red layer beneath it. This is going to be a long process. <laughs> it's 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 dawning on me. This is going to be a long process. But oh well, I really wanted to do this build off against a mark from a Matchbox Mark. Also, really curious what his video is going to be. I know he's doing a Lamborghini, I think it's a Miura. So I'm really excited to see what he will pull out of his head. If he has a head, actually. So next, um, well, you can see the second layer of paint stripper went on and it didn't really help that much. And the third layer I didn't really show because, well, you get the point. Next, I take my uh, little uh, dentist pick and remove the big Glops of paint. Is glop even a word? I don't know, but I'll just like saying it, like rolling, I like saying it. And just remove those big chunks of paint. After that, I take a piece of a piece of scotch bright and remove the remainder of the paint. So for primer, I will be using a fine surface primer by Tamiya in white. Just shake up the can and apply three coats in total, no two, two coats in total, leaving between 15 to 25 minutes to dry between coats. Now for the actual color, I will be using an X6 Blue by Tamiya. Just putting it in my uh, airbrush and applying three coats in total. One light, one heavy and one full wet coat to get the best result. As you can see right here, I'm spraying on the, pri the pr not the primer, the first coat really lightly. Actually missing some parts, so that's not really how you're supposed to paint it. But uh, it turned out well, I hope. I, I know I know it will turn out well. Well, that's uh, everybody's personal opinion, obviously. But just let's all um, say it turned out well, okay? So after the first, I call this two coats in total, but there's actually one coat. Oh well, after two coats are done, I just do one more full wet coat. You can see it right here. And leaving it to bake overnight because it's literally 35 degrees Celsius outside. So just you can bake it outside. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. So after this step is completed, I move on to the fine details. My favorite step of every restoration slash customization. I actually did a slash symbol in real life. Starting with both headlights. Applying some of those, that chrome paint from Revel. 
well, it's not really chrome, it's more silver, but it just makes the details stand out a lot more. Then those little side markers. Now they're supposed to be yellow, but I just like them in silver. And then just the bumper thingies, sticking out bumper thingies. Words. After that, I move on to the grill. I just speed myself up a little bit because um, it's a big grill and just this li a little toothpick. After the grill is done, I do both door handles because yes, there are two on this car. Shocking. One on the right. The driver's side from this car, I think. It's, it's a right-hand drive car, if I remember correctly. And one on the passenger side. Then, for some reason, I decided to paint in the number plates around the number plate itself. Just, just so we can have a little bit of detail in the back of the car. And off-camera, I painted in the Ferrari logo on the front. Next, I take my red paint and paint in both taillights. Just to add a little more detail to this beautiful-looking Italian supercar. Next, let's concentrate on the wheels, the base and the axles. So the old, old wheels and axles are shot and not going to be using them. To take them off, you just take a screwdriver and just, well, just break, no, not really break them off. Lift off the little spring that holds them in and they just fall right out. The back ones did at least. As you can see, it's bent. The camera gang. So now let's get this base cleaned. At first I used a piece of scotch bright trying to get the remainder of the paint and or is it paint? I hope it's paint off. And then a dentist take to take off the big chunks. Now for the wheels. I found a uh, one of my spare donor cars with a crushed roof, I think it was, donated its five spoke wheels. Now I could order some real Ferrari, not really real, some scale Ferrari wheels, but this is a budget channel. And I think these wheels kind of look like the Ferrari five spoke that came on the F, is it the F40? Don't quite remember. So and next, as you can see, I sheeted with the base. I gave it a, li a, lay a layer, a layer of paint because, well, it just wasn't working out. I used some lovely chromish, darkish, bluish, not blue, grayish paint, and let it bake overnight. Next, the interior. Just take my uh, new toothbrush, some soapy warm water, and go to town with it. Now the dirt was so baked on, I had to use my dentist pick. And then my toothbrush again to finish it off. I just finished off the dirt. Now let's get to the reassembly, starting with the interior. Then we have the model itself, which got two coats of clear coat. And obviously let it dry for about a million years. And it looks really good. Shiny, like I like them. Next we have the painted base. Uh, the new glass, ordered from MK Models, link to the web store will be in the description uh, down below. And both axles, so let's get in the front axle, which is pretty easy. It's pretty e just do it, Nick. Yes, 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 and just snap, there you go, that wasn't that hard. And then snap in the rear axle, which was a lot harder, so let's snip this video and pretend I got it in within 10 seconds. I didn't. Next, let's apply the glass. Next, next, let's remove some dirt. It's, I'm, I'm really precise on this thing. Just snap in the glass. It actually needs to lift over the dashboard, kind of a dashboard, and snap in the back. Next, let's take my interior. It's just pick it up, Nick. I know it's late for all, all, all for both of us, but just pick it up. Snapping in the interior on the back post. Next, uh, when the interior finally snaps in, it wasn't that hard, it didn't take me two minutes at all, no, 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 no. Then let's take the new base wheels and axles, snap in the back, snap in the front, and obviously, last but not least, take the little screw, and screw in the base so it's secure, and can be taken apart again relatively easily. So this is my restoration, let's take a look at it uh, before the restoration when it was still in a million colors, a million colors, a million colors and no glass and bent wheels and things like that. And let's take a look at it, how it is right now. So I want to take a quick little second to thank Mark for doing this build off with me. Also don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to both channels and hope to see you 
in a future restoration, and damn my spinning plate is dirty. Bye!